Okay, so today I have some very exciting Ninja Turtle news, which I'm a little bit late to the party, but I'll bring it to you nonetheless. I know all TMNT fans will be hyped about this. It looks like we are getting a live action version of the TMNT's Last Ronin story, which was released as a five part comic book series in 2020. The story is set in a dystopian future following one remaining turtle who is out to avenge the death of his family at the hand of the Foot Clan led by the Shredder's grandson. And I actually read The Last Ronin last year and I actually thought it was very, very good. It was a breath of fresh air. It was very original and it was like nothing we'd really seen from the TMNT. MNT before and I really enjoyed it. It was a page turner, it really was. And it follows this beat of the the lone warrior, you know, this this lone warrior who is out for revenge and for some reason with me it kind of reminds me of Clint Eastwood movies where he plays the man with no name even though it is nothing like a Clint Eastwood movie, that's the kind of vibe I get from it. And like I said, it was really, really enjoyable. It was a good, solid read. So to see that they're actually adapting it into a movie is really promising actually, it's it's actually quite exciting. Because Ninja Turtle fans have been desperate for another live action Ninja Turtle movie since the 1990s and that's right, I'm not counting the Michael Bay movies, I'm trying to wipe those from my mind. <laughs> And now it looks like that may finally happen, and to make things even better, it's rumoured that this movie will be R-rated, which means that hopefully it will stay true to the comic's tone. It's something we've never really had from a Ninja Turtles movie, the, the R-rating, we've never really had that, we've never seen the grittier, more violent side of the Ninja Turtles in a movie. I, I think maybe we came close with the Batman vs Ninja Turtles movie we had a few years ago which was really really good, I really enjoyed that and it was nice to see them portrayed in this more violent tone that we get in the comics but I think that is the closest we've actually got to it with the, the Batman movie so now to actually see it in live action it's very exciting and that movie was very violent and very enjoyable to see the characters dropped in a more edgy world and it worked really really well in my opinion and I think the main reason that that movie worked so well is because they followed the comic. They didn't follow it completely, they did change some things here and there, but they did follow it somewhat to the original source material. And I think that is a reason it worked so well. And if they do this with The Last Ronin, there's no reason why this movie cannot be a success and give the Ninja Turtle fans finally give them something what they want from a movie. For those of you who are not aware, The Last Ronin takes place in the near future and we are following just one Ninja Turtle throughout the story who was out to avenge the death of his three brothers and Master Splinter after they were killed by the Foot. And the Foot is now under the new leadership of the Shredder's grandson. And it is just really a wild adventure, it really is. Now at first we're not entirely sure which Ninja Turtle is on this mission to avenge his brothers because he is now dressed in dark clothing with a dark bandana. And he carries not only his own weapon but his brother's weapons as well so for a while it remains a mystery because you just don't know which Ninja Turtle this is. Now eventually we do actually find out which of the brothers it is that we are following in the story but I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys who haven't actually read the book even though I'm sure you already know, I'm sure you've already read it and even if you haven't I'm sure it's already been spoiled for you already. Even before I read the book I already knew which Ninja Turtle it actually was because the spoilers are all over there on the internet. Even websites which are reporting on this news about The Last Ronin being changed into a movie have actually spoiled who the turtle was in the comics. Now whether they're gonna keep it to the same turtle in the movie I'm not sure but I just thought it was a little bit irresponsible for them to spoil it you know in the article because some people might not have read the comic book now what is cool about the comic is that we actually saw the other Ninja Turtles in flashback scenes which actually fleshed out the story in the present day which was very good and I'm hoping that they'll adapt this into the movie as well. The last Ronan movie is to be developed by Paramount after the success of Mutagen Mayhem which I was not a massive fan of and I've, I've said that before on this channel but I can see why it would be popular with new fans and some of the older fans as well, not everyone hated it, for me it wasn't my cup of tea. And it proved so popular that there's also a new animated series on the way, I believe it's just around the corner, which continues the story from Mutagen Mayhem but with different animation. I just think it's absolutely wild how Paramount are prepared to develop a child-friendly version of the TMNT and a more gritty R-rated adult version at the same time, finally giving the hardcore fans who have followed the Mirage and the IDW comics over the years what they truly want. 
Now, writing the script is Tyler Burton Smith, who is best known for working on the 2019 movie Child's Play, which I was not a massive fan of after they took away the supernatural elements of the movie and replaced it with just Chucky now being a faulty piece of AI, which I really didn't think worked for the movie, and they just completely changed the lore of it all. So I'm hoping, with him being the writer of that movie and this movie, I'm hoping he doesn't stray away too much from the source material. And I'm hoping that he does it proud. He's also wrote scripts for Quantum Break, which was a video game in 2016, which I've not played, but if I remember rightly, it was received quite well. Other games, including Sleeping Dogs and Alan Wake 2, which I also believe were received quite well. I, I remember Sleeping Dogs was actually a good game. I don't really remember much about the storyline, but I believe Alan Wake 2 has got quite a good story to follow along with the game. He also did some writing on the new movie Boy Kills World, which I've not seen yet at this point, but I must admit it looks a lot of fun. Another thing I'm very curious about is how the Ninja Turtles are going to actually look in this movie, how they're going to be portrayed. Are Paramount going to stick very close to the comics and give us those designs? Or are they going to take inspiration from the Jim Henson puppets from the 90s and give us a kind of mix of the two, a hybrid maybe? Who knows at this point, it's early days, but I'm very excited to see what they actually bring to us. Also very interested to see if we get the Ninja Turtles done with practical effects, with practical costumes, or full CGI bodies. I'm guessing CGI, but how sweet would it be if we get something in the middle, like a hybrid of CGI and practical effects? I'm just hoping they don't go down the Michael Bay route and give us big hulking Ninja Turtles that can deflect bullets and look truly hideous. Please don't do that to us again. I'm just praying that Paramount give us a more cool classic Ninja Turtle look and they should definitely be no bigger than your average human being. And most of all, I hope they stay true to the comic book and don't change things too drastically. The comic sold well for a reason and a well crafted thought out adaptation of the comic book to bring to the big screen would actually be very much appreciated. Now, at this point, there's no directors or actors attached to the project, but the news so far is very promising, and I, for one, am very excited about the news. Over the years, when they've released a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, they always seem to get it wrong, or at least that's how the majority of people feel. They're not happy with these movies that are just churned out left, right, and center. But this may just be the turning point. We may finally get a worthy movie adaptation of the Ninja Turtles at last that is aimed to a more adult audience. In my mind, the best Ninja Turtle movie out there is the original 1990s movie. A lot of you will know my opinion on this if you've watched the channel before. Hopefully this new movie will be a worthy addition to that movie and will bring back turtle power to the cinemas once again. But like I said, we'll have to see and we'll have to see what other news comes out from Paramount in the meantime. But if you guys know any more news on this movie, which I've missed out on this episode, be sure to pop it down in the comments down below and anything that comes out in the near future I'll be sure to cover because this is very exciting and I for one cannot wait. Uh, that's all really, I just wanted to pop in and uh, talk about this a little bit. Until next time, see you soon.